The Crush Freestyle features a hybrid shape, 16 mm thickness, and is built with the standard raw carbon fiber hitting surface and honeycomb core you've come to love, all wrapped up in a thermoform package. Combined with EVA foam injected into the handle for vibration dampening, Crush delivers an all-court paddle suitable for just about every player. I'm here with my number one Crush, Mark. Mark, did you get on my fan mail? That's a huge bullseye. I don't know if I can take that much responsibility. No, I did not get the mail. <laughs> <laughs> why, why don't you start us off with your first impressions of the Crush Freestyle? Wow, I really enjoyed the performance of this paddle. Overall, a fusion shape works for me. I love the 5.25 inch handle length. I would say that is just long enough to command uh, points and play using one or two hands on the paddle. And uh, again, that fusion shape being just a hair over 16 and maybe like a uh, hair under 7.5 inches across the span of three to nine, just made it very easy to play with from any part of the court. 16 millimeter polypropylene core holds the ball, but gives me a little bit of energy return and an eight ounce weight uh, is middle of the road. Although I would uh, add maybe a little bit of weight to the paddle. I thought it was just a screaming deal overall and in stock form, I could play with it from any part of the court. Uh, what'd you think about the paddles? Yeah, my first impression, I started warming up with it as I do with any paddle and all of those controlled shots hitting dinks at the non-volley zone, hitting third shots, all of it was great because everything was controlled. Started hitting with more pace and that's where I kind of started to fall apart. It took me two games before I could adapt to this paddle and I have to say 180. I really started to enjoy it. I started to recognize where there wasn't power, uh, where the control was really shining, and I felt like it just took about two game break in for me. I'm surprised it took that far. I know you've been playing with a heavier paddle lately, so I would imagine it would be a little bit of an adjustment to go back to a more maneuverability based uh, package overall. Um, spin potential, what'd you think there? I thought the spin was okay. I don't normally put a lot of spin on my shots, like for myself, so I need the paddle to generate that for me. So I felt like the spin was okay with this but it wasn't something where, you know, I always, I always go back to the, the carbon paddles. I feel like I got the most spin out of those paddles. If I was comparing it to something like that, I don't think it stood up. However, I don't think the spin story was uh, an issue here. What do you think of the power level? Thanks, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> I'm gonna categorize these paddles as being medium powered. I'm not gonna say they are a low powered, control oriented masterpiece and they are not super twitchy like an aluminum baseball bat. These are middle of the road. I felt like they kind of let me be me from the backcourt so I could really swing, get some good spin and pace on the ball, but where it really shined a little bit better uh, was up near the net. That's where I felt like I found the medium power level to be of my liking. I didn't really feel like I had issue uh, with protracted dink rallies at the net or speed up volleys or anything like that. So thanks for asking. I really like the power level of these paddles. I kind of agree. The power level was a bit lower than I would expect from something called the Crush. Looking at the specs, as Mark mentioned earlier, it lends itself to an all-court paddle and I think that's really where this paddle falls into. Anything where I need to generate my own power, the shots that I had to take big strokes, I felt like this was just a little too dampened in that regard. At the non-volley zone, like you mentioned, is really where they shined. All of my dinks, everything I wanted to uh, softly put the ball where I wanted to go was where this shined. So anything with power I felt was just a little too dampened. Now I want to talk about the grip. What do you think about the grip? Well, premium paddles should have premium grips. I'm gonna give it the designation of a premium grip. Uh, as I squeeze the sides, which I always do when I uh, first grasp a paddle, it feels solid all the way around, octagonal shape. Um, though I'm not a huge fan of contour ridge grips, uh, it's not anything that I exchange out. I think it just works great uh, overall and feels good in my hand, which is, you know, if that's your contact patch uh, with the paddle, you're hitting the ball on the paddle face, it's really important for me to have something that I can rely on in terms of a good handle feel. Yeah, the grip length, five and a quarter, was great for me. I don't use a two-handed backhand, so I don't need that. And I think it was a four and a quarter circumference. The feel of it, like Mark said, I really liked the grip on this paddle. I thought they did a great job with that in this regard. Now, overall, I would say that this is an all-court style paddle. Uh, if I was going to compare it to something, it plays very similarly to the uh, six zero double black diamond, in my opinion. However, the double black diamond has more power and a bit more forgiveness. In fact, the forgiveness for this paddle was something that was probably something that stood out the most to me. I felt like I really had to make sure my shots were in the center. If I hit it outside of the sweet spot, 
I really started to get that wobble, especially on resets when I was taking pace off of the ball. So if I was gonna recommend this paddle, I would recommend it to a beginner or intermediate uh, player, like an all-court player. If you're an advanced level player, I think adding weight to this paddle would really make it shine. I would agree. Um, we can talk about the other crush paddle as well, the one with the longer handle. That one actually weighed, I believe, around 7.7 .7 ounces, but the balance point is what really made the difference. Uh, these paddles are a little heavier. The crush freestyles, I believe, are running about eight ounces, but the balance point portrays more fast, agile, maneuverable feel through the air. I would add weight out towards the tip of the paddle just to help stabilize it a little bit. Not a gripe, but just something that would kind of make this paddle shine a little bit better from the backcourt. Um, overall, just very easy paddle to play with. Is there anything that you would change about the paddle? Like I said, I would probably just add weight to it to give it a little bit more uh, stability and a little bit more power. At its price point, I'm probably gonna stick with my head radical rod, just does everything I want and more. But for what it is and at its value, I think it's still uh, decently priced. I concur. If you'd like to check out any crush paddles or anything else pickleball related, be sure to visit TotalPickleball.com.